Now look here, Mrs. McKenzie. I thought about this a lot, and I want to get one thing straight right now. There is no way in the world that you are going to seduce me. I want you. Come in, Louie. <laughs> what am I doing? This is crazy. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I don't think there's any reason for us to beat around the bush. I mean, there is no chance of anything happening between you and I. I mean, look at it from my side. I have nothing but loyalty for my employer, Mr. McKenzie, who happens to be one of the finest human beings who it has been my pleasure to meet in this life. He can't stand the sight of you. <laughs> then I'll have his woman. <laughs> This is crazy, no. no. Mrs. McKenzie, you don't want me. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, I listen. You only picked me because I was at the bottom of the barrel. Oh, Louie, that's not true. <laughs> no, I, I find you very attractive. <laughs> you do? Yes. <laughs> well, what do you find attractive about me? <laughs> Your eyes. You have nice eyes. Both of them? <laughs> I don't know, Mr. McKenzie. There is no way that your mere kisses are gonna sway me. <laughs> What is that scent? That's pleasurey. Pleasurey. It's very expensive. Oh, it should be. Poor people shouldn't smell like that. <laughs> Let's go into the bedroom. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Mrs. McKenzie, please. Please don't make me go in there. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> 